So you have the Holy Spirit. There's self-control. Self-control. There's righteousness. There's identity. I know who I am. There's love. There's forgiveness. All of these are great components to the Christian life. Great and necessary components to the Christian life. But I have one other component that I'd like to submit to you in the group chat today. Living above reproach. I, I, I know that that's not what you wanted to hear. I know you wanted something juicier. I know you wanted five steps to a great Christian life. I know you wanted something juicier. But if you hear me out throughout the remainder of this video, what I have to say will benefit you. What's up guys, my name is Drew Muzan. Thank you guys for coming onto my channel today. Thank you guys for all of the recent subscribers. Thank you for all of the likes, all of the engagement I've been getting has been crazy. Uh, I wanna thank you for all of that. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already become part of the fam and let's build something here. So today we're talking about a necessary component to Christian living. And the component I would like to submit as a necessary and a vital component to the Christian life is living above reproach. For me, living above reproach is vital to my Christian life. My, I've been a Christian for about five years, really following the Lord for about five, six years. And this right here in the most recent year of my life is the most, one of the most vital components to the Christian life. So for those of you who think like, yo, maybe I'm speaking Christianese and all this church jargon I'm throwing at you, you're like, what the heck is above reproach? It sounds like a bug. You understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Like reproach, what the heck is that? It sounds like something, something fancy. So let, let me read to you what the definition of, bro, of, of living above reproach is. By definition, above reproach is a legal word that indicates a kind of innocence in the eyes of the law it also means that no one can legitimately rebuke you or make any charges against you that will stick that you know they may accuse you but your conduct will eventually acquit you by proving you blameless so basically living so basically this is kind of like living a life with a clear conscience this is how kind of like how i would equate to it you, you you ain't doing no bad business with nobody you're treating everybody with respect you're treating everybody good you're not putting yourself in the wrong types of situations that can come back to haunt you you're not doing the wrong types of things that can come back to haunt you later you're you're basically keeping a clean slate you're keeping your copacetic with everybody you're 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 not um involved in anything that you shouldn't be involved in and your conscience is clear you go to sleep at night and there's like I'm not doing anything wrong. And with my first example, I wanted to, to bring to the table Dan Snyder. Now, Dan Snyder is the owner of the Washington Commanders, formerly the Washington Redskins. And in about a week or some change ago, he was in the news for, um, I guess, a conversation had leaked or something had happened to where, you know, the commanders and Dan Snyder both denied it happened. But basically, a conversation I got out that allegedly said that Dan Snyder said that he had dirt on Roger Goodell, the NFL commissioner, and other NFL owners. And as soon as I saw that graphic, I was like, yeah, see, this is the reason why I'm all about living above, living above approach. This is the reason why I think everybody should be about that because you don't, whether or not that's true, whether or not the, those allegations are true, that's not up for debate. But what's up for debate is the fact that, that if it was true, there's dirt, people have dirt on each other. And it's just like, I don't want to have nobody had no dirt on me. I don't want nobody to have um, nothing on nothing nothing on me about what I'm doing. I want to be able to be, I want to be a clean slate. I want to, you know, live peaceable, peaceable, peaceable. I don't want no problems. I want peace, right? And I value peace so much more than I value doing the things that would cause me not to have peace and cause there to be dirt in my life, right? So when I seen that graphic, I was like, man, like this is the reason really why I wanted to do this video and why we really need to live above approach. There's a famous actor by the name of George Clooney who 
I want to say this happened a couple years ago, and I heard about it. I want to say I heard about it via Instagram or YouTube or something. But basically, a couple years ago, he was offered $35 million to um, do a commercial for an a airline, right? Uh, it was going to cost him one day of work, and it was going to be $35 million. So $35 million for one day of work, anybody would take that payday, right? But with George, this George Clooney situation, it was with an airline that had that was an ally of America, but it had done some different things in the past, and it kind of made George Clooney uneasy. So after he talked over his, with his wife, he decided not to go ahead along with doing the business with or the commercial, or whatever the shoot with that airline that was going to pay him thirty-five million dollars because he said, and I quote, "If it costs me one minute of my sleep, then it's not worth it." So I don't know if George Clooney is saved. George, if you're watching this, shout out to you. I don't know if he's saved or not, but that's the type of thinking, that's the type of morality, that's the type of character I want to have. That there's no amount of money, there's no amount of business decisions, there's no amount of anything that would jeopardize my sleep. That I would allow any no, person, anybody, that I would allow to jeopardize my sleep, right? And I want to give that same, um, that same unction, that same um concern rebuke to you is make sure that whatever it is that you're doing it's not costing you your sleep make sure that whatever it is you're doing you're able to do it with a clear conscience because the bible talks about first timothy 1 19 that we should keep a clear conscience right so even paul in the bible he's telling timothy to keep a clear conscience so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have please give it a like please subscribe share it to one of your friends and i hope that this video bless you guys. Stay tuned for more content. Peace.